Hey guys, um, sorry I made a video in probably four weeks. Um, ever since my last video, I actually had moved into a different house. Um, i kind of been thinking that I can make, make maybe make a update video on that, though I'm not going to go into that. But anyways, um, it's kind of been a lot of things going on right now, right now, actually. Um, I actually just woke up. It's actually 4.55 in the morning I'm doing this right now. Um, I just woke up, like, really almost an hour ago. And I don't have my sound filter with me. I have my microphone. This is all because of the move, and I don't know where my sound filter is. I recall I found it, but I'm not sure whatever happened to it. But right now, it seems like things are doing good. But anyways, um, yeah, um... So right now I'm, I I really had nothing else to do. Actually, cold outside, died. So I said, "Hey, screw it! I'm just gonna do a video." I did one in a while, and I'm signed to do a review on the movie Venom. Now I saw this the other day. Um, this is actually a movie that's credited for being the first ever movie I've seen in theaters by myself. Um, my uncle, who's usually somebody who takes me to see these at movies and want to see it because he read reviews, bullcrap reviews online of this movie. I'm going to um, explain why they're bullcrap, but yeah, and he said not to go see it, but I want to see it, so we made an idea to have me sit alone in the theater. Yeah, watching it. Of course, I have someone alone, and there's other people there, but anyways. Yeah, um, so. This movie, um, pretty much what it's about is, uh, well, it's about this reporter. His name is, uh, Eddie Brock. He's a pretty successful reporter and all. And pretty much, um, one day he was interviewing this guy who owns this, uh, you know, just, he, he's actually, like, a successful inventor and stuff, but he owned this, like, organization called the Life Foundation and yeah and they pretty much um they they were working on these you know was known as simiates that they gotten from this uh space shuttle that they have that crashed in like some Asian country I forgot what it was but yeah um most of them except for one actually escaped they weren't rare that the other one escaped, but anyways, um, but that particular one escaped. But yeah, and Brock, his life is good until that interview he was doing with that inventor, who pretty much actually led to him. Like he he felt kind of the inventor felt violated because he wanted the interview closed, so he contacted his boss and he fired him. Now Brock has a, a fiance who pretty much rejects him because of uh, him have losing a job and pretty much we got to six months later and he living in he pretty much living a poor life poor life he lives in a very cheap apartment got a little paid job and yeah it's, it's everything crap for him you know went from very successful at being a reporter and pretty much he lives like a homeless guy now, eventually, um, the people who work on these simulates, they just kind of kind of go further into their research by this time. Um, they're having people, you know, pretty much, they, they realize that they, they could die if they don't have any, like, oxygen breathing hoses. So, they have, like, people they, to test out with them. And each, and they have one particular simulate which is actually the Venom symbiote to, you know, bond with them, but he, they, uh, they keep rejecting. They, they're not, like, the mat right match for them. Eventually, um, pretty much, um, one of these scientists, um, pretty much, she decided to... Said to do. Um, 
I really forgot <laughs> what you want to do. Oh, she wants to expose um, the inventor, have Brock expose the inventor. And she knows that Brock have a hatred with this guy because, you know, he's responsible for having him, for having him losing the job and stuff. Um, so anyways, um, eventually, uh, she, she had, she took Brock into the lab where they are working. Well, she took him to their, no, company building and Brock, um, pretty much, she, she hide him somewhere and Brock pretty much, you know, she, he quickly got into the lab where they were testing these symbiotes, you know, checking it out and stuff until he found this um, lady who he actually knows. Uh, this lady is a homeless person and pretty much um, she, she's being tested as well and pretty much he, um, he, tr he tried to unlock her out of this place that this room that she was put in that they're having her being tested and she, she pretty much attacks him but then the simiate um you know pretty much who's already inside of uh, this homeless person come right inside of his body and this is the venom simiate eventually Brock escape when security guards realize that he's there and yeah pretty much as the movie goes on we see Brock you know kind of you know pretty much you know kind of start you know having symptoms of being um you know having this you know simia inside of his body pretty much he's keep hearing voices um, which is the Venom symbiote, you know, he's, you know, pretty much kind of, you know, keep, like, his face kind of turned to, like, the, how Venom look at certain things, you know, kind of being sensitive of the sound, like the symbiote always do, and eventually he realized that, um, the symbiote, who, what the symbiote is, is Venom, and Venom told him that pretty much he chooses him as the right host because he have a hatred towards the company, the vendor, as well as his company for having him lose everything that he had. And the Simia pretty much, you know, have a hatred from for keeping him as a slave, want to take take him down and stuff. Now, um, and thing was that their goal in the movie try to stop them. And thing was other Simia that was um escape from the crash pretty much he it's his this the simia that simia is named riot and he keep on you know it keep on like um pretty much protesting these people until it got into the um the inventor who wanted the simia back so pretty much he's kind of have a more hatred for brock for stealing the simia and yeah and pretty much eventually he came upon it and pretty much the simia no, no, Venom. And he, the Simiot Riot, he's like the, um, top of the Simiots. Like, he's more superior than Venom. Like, stronger. So, yeah, he wants Venom back as much as the Avenger. So, they kind of come with one, too. And, um, yeah. Now, uh, that's how far I can go in this movie, pretty much. What I thought of it, um, I thought this movie, even though. It got a lot of bad reviews from the corner that I see. Um, I thought this wasn't even a bad movie. This was actually a pretty damn good film. I know it's not, it has certain parts of it, like, it's not really have anything to do with Spider Man. Like, the movie's set in San Francisco. As we all know, Venom, um, Eddie Brock lives in, in the comics and in shows, cartoons, whatever. He lives in New York, but in this version, he lives in San Francisco. He is a reporter still, so that one thing that they still got right. Um, he doesn't work for the Daily Bugle because obviously that's in New York, within the Marvel Universe, anyways. And, um, yeah, again, no, had nothing to do with Spider Man. 
which that's fine because this is a movie centered around Venom, not Spider-Man. Um, I do now what I l learn. A lot of people complains about the cr script, which I find it bullcrap. This is why I think that these reviews are just bullcrap because honestly, the script in this movie, I thought a lot of scenes in this movie were very funny. I like the relationship between Brock and Venom. You know, like, like I said, Venom is like, he's like pretty much a, a voice that Brock constantly hear, and he, you know, he helps them out and stuff, which I find, you know, kind of pretty interesting, you know. That's not that, that's kind of creative of them doing that, you know. And, um, I thought the CGI effects on Venom in this movie looks pretty darn amazing. Like, um, yeah, I thought that Tom Hardy, who actually played Bane from The Dark Knight Rises, who played Brock in this movie, did a good job. Um, but anyways, um, the fight between Venom and Riot was by the end, I thought was pretty damn good. And, um, yeah. Um... And I thought they still do good with the whole, um, you know, fact that, um, Brock, you know, losing everything. It's the same thing how Spider-Man would done to him. You know, they still have that right in this film. Really not much to say about this film. Um, still a good movie. I would recommend people seeing it. Um, directed by the same guy who did Zombieland, which is pretty done good film and uh I thought he did a good job with this movie. So yeah, this is a pretty funny movie. Um yeah and I thought uh it was it was it was kinda good on the I thought they had a good take on the whole, you know, Eddie Brock and Venom relationship. But yeah, that's all I really need to say about this film. Um I really enjoyed this. Um hope you guys Check it out at some point, and I promise to make more videos in the future. So, yeah. Avanos.